Hello, and welcome back to Airspace Link's AirHub Academy series of training videos. Today, we're diving into the empowering process of adding custom data to our portal maps. Before we get into any demonstrations, I'd like to give you a little background and information on how this capability puts you in control of your organization's portal map. Adding custom reference data to an organization's portal map involves leveraging Esri's Arch GIS online platform to incorporate various geospatial data, analytical capabilities, and applications into AirHub Portal. This platform enables the aggregation and management of data from multiple sources, including data generated within AirHub Portal itself. The process involves several key components, specifically web maps and layers. Web maps are the maps within AirHub Portal. They are an aggregation of multiple data sources, or layers, combined to create a map. Web maps allow for setting zoom scales, defining cartography, and determining the order in which layers are stacked. However, layers are individual data sets that can be added to a web map. Examples include roads, parcels, advisories, and more. These layers contain custom reference data specific to your organization. I'd like to discuss just a bit more information on adding data to the web map. The integration of custom reference data into an organization's portal map represents a groundbreaking advancement in the geospatial industry. This feature aligns perfectly with Esri's long-standing vision of interconnecting nodes of their platforms such as the ArcGIS online platform and Esri's ArcGIS enterprise platform. However, what sets this feature apart is its ability to extend beyond platform to platform connectivity and embrace platform to product partner integration. By allowing a partner's app to serve as a node within the ecosystem, this feature takes Esri's vision to new heights. It enables seamless integration between Esri's platforms and partner products, creating a truly interconnected network of geospatial data and functionality. The key to unlocking the potential of these interconnected nodes lies in the Esri identity. Organizations can grant specific users or partners access to their data services and content through a secure and controlled process. This is achieved through the creation of federated user accounts, which are linked to Esri identities, but managed by the partner organization, Airspace Link. This federated approach, or model, ensures that the partner organization maintains control over user access and permissions while still leveraging the power of Esri's identity management system. It allows for granular control over which content and services are accessible to users, ensuring data security and privacy. Now, I'd like to discuss two more items of note before we begin the demonstration. First, let's discuss the value propositions of this application, increased efficiency being foremost. By integrating custom reference data directly into Portal, organizations can streamline their workflows, reduce data silos, and access all relevant information within a single platform. In addition, this enhances improved decision-making. With access to a wealth of interconnected geospatial data, organizations can make more informed decisions based on a holistic view of their operations and environment. And finally, the added ability of customization and flexibility. Organizations can now tailor their portal maps to their needs, incorporating proprietary data and leveraging partner applications to create a customized geospatial solution. This level of customization opens a world of possibilities and excitement. Last, I'd like to discuss integration. This custom map data application has three levels of integration. At integration level one, Users can access Portal without realizing the underlying Esri technology. The custom reference data is seamlessly integrated into the map and the features, 
providing a smooth and reassuring experience. So, in summary, at level 1, we add your data to the map, making it available to your organization the next time you open Portal. At integration level 2, we have web maps, data, and applications available in our marketplace applications. This level provides organizations with the fundamental capabilities that can be leveraged alongside Airhub Portal as an application. These capabilities are common across all organizations and do not involve custom development. Finally, at integration level 3, Airspace Link helps convert Airhub customers to ArcGIS online organizations that support custom content and applications in Airhub Portal and the Airhub Portal Marketplace. Organizations have full control over their ArcGIS online organization and its content in a Level 3 integration. Organizations can add their proprietary data to Airspace Link's Map Editor, which intelligently recognizes the user's authorization and stores it within the map. This allows the organization's content to be seamlessly integrated into its Airhub portal application. Now, let's demonstrate how we add custom data to Airhub portal's base maps. As you can see, I'm starting my journey in Detroit, Michigan. Now, we're going to add our custom data. One thing to note before I start, as you notice, I'm in our sandbox environment. The custom map data functionality is currently available in our production version of Portal. However, for ease of use and the availability of many datasets to choose from, I will use our sandbox environment for this demonstration. As you can see, I'm already logged into Portal. I'm on the Discover tab, and as I stated before, I'm in Detroit, Michigan. The first thing I need to do is open my Marketplace Applications. I click on the four boxes icon in the upper right corner and the Marketplace Applications are displayed. Going back to the levels of integration, this would be considered Integration Level 2. The applications you see here are examples of what can be added to your organization's portal map. You can see many Esri integrations, including Survey123, SiteScan for ArcGIS, adding custom data to your map, and Business Analyst for Drones. Integration Level 3 includes the ability to customize your map, add your data, and manipulate your data, both in ArcGIS Online for your organization and within your portal organization. To recap, Integration Level 1 would be if you provided us with your data and we added it to your portal instance. The next time you open the map, your data will be available and you will be able to interact with it. With Integration Level 2, web maps, data and applications are added to your portal instance. For the purposes of this demonstration and during this next step, I will add custom data and demonstrate how it can be manipulated, viewed and used within Airhub Portal. First, I need to open my custom map applications and click Customize Your Map. Once I do that, you can see that my ArcGIS online application has now opened. Before we start adding and manipulating data, I wish to point out a few things. First, the data that you see here has already been added for this demonstration. Second, as you can see, I cannot interact with any of this data. Even if I open the properties, I have no way to update or change the data. That is because I first must sign in. When you open Portal and add data for the first time, you must sign in. Once you are signed in, you should not need to sign in again unless you clear your cache or do a hard refresh of your data. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Again, I need to point out something very important. When you sign in, you need to make sure that you sign in with your Airhub login. If you do not see this information, please contact us and we will help you get the proper sign-in information. I'm going to click Login with Airhub. Now, you can see that I am logged in and can interact with each of these layers. 
If you're familiar with ArcGIS Online, you will understand that the eyeball icon here indicates the visibility of the layer. If it's crossed through, that layer is not visible. The first thing I need to do is find some data to add. If I click Add, or the plus symbol next to Layers, I can browse layers, add a layer from a URL or a file, create a sketch layer, a root layer, or add a media layer. I'm going to leave this set to Browse Layers. By default, my content from my ArcGIS Online instance shows up first. I'm going to hit the drop-down, and I'm going to choose content from my organization. However, you can see that we also can choose content from Esri's Living Atlas and ArcGIS Online platforms. As I said, I'm going to select my organization. In this case, I want to add railroad information for the Detroit, Michigan area. I'm going to start typing. As you can see, my railroads layer for Michigan is now here. I'm going to go ahead and click Add because I want to see what I am adding. I'm going to change the symbology so that what I add shows up very well. I'm going to click Style Options, select Symbol Style, and change the color. In this instance, I'd like something very bright, so I'm going to select a red color. I'm going to hit Done and close the Symbol Style. You can see on my map that the railroad lines are now showing. I can also change the symbol style of the railroads for more accurate symbology. In this instance, I will select Railroad in Streets and hit Done. I will then change my color back to red, close my symbol style and hit Done. Now, we can see that my railroads for the state of Michigan have been added. Before I go back to my portal instance, I need to save my changes. I'm going to the Save and Open folder, which displays a handy blue circle indicating that something needs to occur. I'm going to click the Save and Open folder. Now I'll click Save. As you can see, it's saving my custom data, and now my custom data has been saved. Also, if you notice, my save and open folder no longer displays the blue circle, indicating that the action has been performed. Now, I'll go back to my portal instance. I'm going to close my applications for the moment, and I'm going to refresh my map. As a quick shortcut to do a hard refresh within portal, simply hold down the control, shift, and letter R keys. This will do a hard refresh on your map. And now, as you can see, my railroads have been incorporated into my map in Detroit. You also see that I have a blue circle down here under my layers, indicating that a change has occurred. Deviation from default map layer settings has been detected and will be displayed when you open your layer settings dialog box. In this case, I've added in my custom railroad data. As you see here, we have this Airspace Link Org custom data. If I expand this, I now see my Railroads Michigan data. If I click on this check mark, I can turn the layer off and back on. Now, I do wish to point out something very interesting. If I go back to my ArcGIS online map and look at my layers, we can see that we have this land parcel vector tiles data. If I click the ellipses and then click show properties, you can see there is no legend and no symbology information available. However, when I go back to my AirHub portal instance, we have created the ability to show legend and symbology data and interact with individual layers for the vector tile data. So again, the land parcels 
are a vector tile data layer. Within ArcGIS Online, you cannot change, view, or turn off any of these individual layers. However, within Portal, we have created the ability to do this. I can turn off all land parcels, or I can turn off particular or individual land parcels. Before we close out this demonstration, I want to reiterate the levels of integration we discussed in the beginning. The first level of integration is what you see here. You have provided us with the data and we have added the data in the background. When you next open your map, your data will be available and you can interact with the data via the map styles and layers down here. Integration level two is the addition of the applications from our portal marketplace, where you can interact with your data using Esri applications, such as Business Analyst, customize your map and others to interact with your data. Finally, when I customize my map application in portal at integration level three, I am taken to my ArcGIS online instance. Again, Remember that the first time you access your ArcGIS Online instance, you will have to log in. Once you have logged in, your information will persist and you will remain logged in unless you do a hard refresh, clear the cache, or other means of removing the data in the background, which would then necessitate re-logging into your ArcGIS Online instance. Well, that about does it for custom data within AirHub Portal utilizing Esri's ArcGIS online technology. If you have any questions or concerns, wish to see a demonstration, or just want to say hi, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be happy to provide you with a demonstration and any other information you would like. Thanks for listening and happy flying.